revealing just how many guns and other dangerous weapons they have now kept from getting onto planes. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Brian Hickey's live at Sacramento International Airport, where agents are on the lookout for passengers who are packing a heck of a lot more than just clothes. Brian. That's right, and they found loaded weapons right here in Sacramento. Sacramento, one of more than 200 airports where they discovered loaded weapons across the country. That number, 2,212 weapons, a record for TSA. Take a look at this gun captured right here in Sacramento last month. It was December 2nd when a passenger was trying to get through the security checkpoint with this small handgun that was loaded. There was another weapon discovered in November and another one in October, as far as I look back here in Sacramento. So uh, an occurrence here, and along with many other airports across the country, Dallas Fort Worth getting the distinction of the airport with the most weapons captured, 120 in the year 2014. Now, TSA is saying that the number of weapons at checkpoints has risen 22%. And of those 2,212 weapons that were discovered, 83% of them were loaded. This, uh, passengers we talked to this morning said they were stunned by those numbers. I think it would be, I think, yeah, it's a little surprising that you would forget you were carrying your gun. That, that worries me a little. That it, it might be so ubiquitous that you just weren't thinking about it. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Why that? Surprise me. Well, uh, I, can, I can see, you know, um, Leaving some firearms in your baggage and uh, you know forgetting about it, but you know kind of scary too. And that's just guns they're talking about. That doesn't take into account the uh, throwing stars and throwing knives, tasers that they've found at the security checkpoints. All things that were confiscated. And in many cases, the passengers simply saying they forgot that they had them. But certainly, uh, it causes a big uproar at the checkpoints, and it leads to some hefty fines, as much as $7,500. Live here at the Sacramento International Airport, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.